How, okay. how many lines do you have to learn? How many lines today? do you have to learn for today? Just like, today? Uh, how many, is a lot? 20. Yeah. But that's not bad. Is that hard? No, eight pages is hard, which I've had to do as well. But you get better at it. I like would a, die. I don't know, it's like a muscle. It really is. It's like, you know, you get better at it, you get better in shape. I have practiced my, my memorization, and I've gotten better, but I could not, could not. Especially under pressure. Yeah, you can't panic about it. That's that's the secret. <laughs> do you know what I'm panicking? <laughs> like I can't do it. But yeah, no, it's it's the secret is you can't panic about it. You have to sort of like, by the time you get to bed, be able to go through it in your head, and then your subconscious will do all your work for you while you're sleeping. It sounds and you like wake a up theory. and boom, you got it. You have a lot of technical things to to remember though for this kind of script. Uh, how's that work for you? For me? Yeah. I'm terrible at it. <laughs> Give an example of like. Uh, any word, any word. Uh, I had this thing. It was an Icelandic thing. I kept calling it Elysium. We have had this. What was it? Um, even in my own. I don't know if I should be telling you this. Even in my own like engineering, I'll have all these lines about. What was one? See, the thing is, I never remember them. I'll say them and go. I don't know what I said. Was it right? And then I'm done. And but uh, what was it? I had to say something. How to describe the ship somehow and how the the engine thrusters worked. Right. They don't tell us how it works. So, you know, I was like, God damn it, how does this go? All right. Now, how does that go again? <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's certain things which are really more formula Star Trek and then things that are really brand new ideas mm -hmm. on the Enterprise. What, what do you consider to be, like, this is, this is real Star Trek? Traditionally? Traditionally, Star Trek? yeah. What about the Enterprise? Our hair. Our hair is very traditionally Star Trek. I'm mean, fighting against that. I'd like to have a little lift in my hair, but season one. Um, the, um, this is so pathetic. I'm oh, the, the um, <laughs> I know what you mean. The, For the transporter. The thi yes, thank you. The transporter is exactly like the other one was. Um, Only it doesn't always work, right? Yeah, sometimes things come outside of people, and uh, what else? What do you think is the boots? Boots are pretty similar. The rest of it's really kind of different because it doesn't take itself as seriously as the other ones did, really. Well, I should say the last two. It's got a sense of humor about it. it makes fun of itself a little bit more. So the differences are easy for me to say because I also didn't watch them. Well, do you have of the four previous series? Is there one that you really enjoyed? Do you have a favorite of the series? Of the four previous series. The original one. I mean, I grew up on it. You know, you come up from school, be on. And uh, so I probably saw all of those just by default that it was on TV when I got home. But I was too busy in school to watch Next Generation and then too poor to have cable when I first got out of school. So, and then I really wasn't hooked into Voyager that much. Um, and Deep Space Nine, I don't think I ever watched. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but this also is a lot like the other one, the first one. More so than I would say the other two are. Um, but, uh, are there any qualities that you have that remind you of um, Scotty? None. Not at all. One, I'm in shape. Two, I'm a southern boy. <laughs> and three, well, those two are good enough. <laughs> How about Scott Bakula? Why does he make a, a good captain? Um... It's so I've been asked that before, and it's kind of hard to answer, but just that it's sort of obvious. I mean, it's, if you spend any time around him, he's the man. He's the guy. He's the, he's, he sets the tone for everybody here on the set, you know, on the other side of the camera when we're not working. He, um, he's just, there's a sense about him that, you know, hell, I'd follow him in the battle, you know, that kind of thing. And, and um, he has, uh, he's got a, commanding presence in that sense I think and I think they were smart I think they cast the show really well they knew exactly what they wanted or they wanted there were certain elements of what they knew that they wanted and, and they got them and in getting him you know I heard that he was going to be the captain and I was like well of course he is who else is going to be the captain and, and that they made a great decision and you know it's, I have to say it's like learning from him is just really one of the, one of the uh, gifts that I've been given from you know getting this job um, somebody who's done what he's done for so long and well, maybe not that long, Scott, but a while. Um, it's nice to learn, you know, from him and, and sort of how to how to do your job every day 
I'm coming every day and keep it fresh and that sort of thing. Are you glad that you're not wearing spandex suits? You kidding me? Oh yeah. No, I I already had to. We had to wear we had to wear tights two episodes ago and with a dance belt on and all that crap. And I was like, all day long wearing a dance belt, a lot of fun. So you don't maybe your hair's not the way you want it, but at least you've got cool clothes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. At least I'm in like you know the mechanics outfit. I'm not. Yeah. No, we seriously lucked out on the jumpsuits with the. With the cotton and the. Can you give us a just? Can you just give me a run through? Like, w describe your your outfit. This. This is. We've got all these because you know we don't have any belts or anything to hold like our intercom stuff. We don't have the thing, so like, anytime you're anywhere, you can put stuff in your pockets or or this sort of thing. Do you have anything in your pockets I'm, right now? No. Are you allowed just to keep me. stuff in your pockets? Or would you get in trouble? I mean, like notes and money. Yeah, and or whatever your wallet. I don't know. My keys yeah. in my car. <laughs> Shit. Um. No, because they're kind of that, they're a little form-fitting, but they're not, you know, and I swear, I'd say I'd have only opened up my pockets twice. They're there. They're there to be used, but, you know, we're halfway through the first season. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me, what's the crest? What does the crest say? Show us the crest. Enterprise. Do you feel authority when you have the suit on? Does it feel like now you are, you know, a chief engineer? Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I'm kind of the you know smart ass goofball on the show, so it's and in person, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, I it, um yeah when I'm when I'm doing my job like when it's serious, yeah I feel that way. But otherwise, you know I'm kind of the guy who doesn't get every joke and doesn't really care about protocol or that much stuff. So, yeah. But you know when it comes down to push and shove. You get the whole serious look going. You go do your thing. So, Great. sometimes.